everyone and happy December. It's the end of the year and we just got done with the holiday season. For a lot of small business owners, the holiday season is a really busy and hectic time, but I just got done with all of my markets and craft shows and events, so I'm able to take a little break now until the end of the year. This year was my busiest and best holiday season so far, and a lot of that's due to all the events I packed into my schedule. I started out in mid-November at the San Jose Made Holiday Craft Fair and I made a whole video about that event. So if you want to see a more in-depth process there, go check out that video. But after that, I did another event at the Trent Museum of Art in Santa Clara, Hammerling Wines at Berkeley, San Jose Winter Wonder Market, Fox Hill Fermentation Project in San Jose. And then right now I'm actually gearing up for a little pop-up at Google and a store in Japantown. So. I'm going to be recapping all of this in this video, so keep on watching. Hello, it's the morning of my second holiday art fair that I'm having this year in Santa Clara at the Triton Museum of Art. And I woke up early this morning to finish up a few paintings that I want to have in inventory. I need to pack up soon, so these are going to dry really quick and then I'm gonna bring everything over. I just arrived at the Triton Museum and I have all my stuff in my trunk right now. It's a lot less this time because I only have a six foot table uh, and they're also providing me a table and chairs which is really convenient. So I'm gonna start heading over and unpacking. I found my booth at the museum and it's in this room with these giant paintings. You can see the door in the back there for scale so these are really huge but I'm gonna go set up. Setup went very smoothly because I was able to show up early and get everything set up before the doors opened. And the event was really busy and really great. We had a lot of room because we were spread out a little more. But once the event ended, it was time to clean up and get ready for my next event the next weekend. And my third event of the season was at Hammerling Wines in Berkeley. Berkeley is a little further than the events I normally do, but I wanted to make an exception for this place because it just seems like a very cool venue. I have a time lapse of my setup taking place here, uh, and again, it went very smoothly. I know where all my things are supposed to go, and I had an 8 foot table here, so I had a lot of space to spread out and showcase all of my different items. Uh, like at the Triton Museum, I also brought my postcard holder and that cleared up even more table space for me to use. The event started off a little slow at the start, but throughout the day it got a lot busier and more and more people came. When it came to lunchtime, I had this really good mushroom and cheese toast that I ate in between when customers were at my booth. The night continued and I sold quite a few pieces. Uh, and it was just a really cool event with lots of good music, lots of good food and just a really cool space to be in. I really liked Berkeley and I hope I can be back for another event soon. And up next is my fourth event, which is the Winter Wonder Market at the Westgate Center. The Westgate Center is like a big mall in San Jose with a bunch of different stores inside. And they have these Y aisleways that can fit up to two rows of vendors uh, facing outward. And even though I had an 8 foot table here, I was still a little squished in my space because I wanted to bring both of my bookshelves so that I could display my prints and my original paintings. Also, the depths were only 5 feet in, so I had a little space for my visitors, my tables, and then I had only about a foot behind my tables that I could sit in my stool in. The event got really busy really quickly and the event was also extra crowded because there was a double booked event happening at the exact same time on both days of the weekend. But like I said, it was really busy and I was able to sell both a lot of originals and prints so it was a very successful weekend. My fifth event was at Foxtail Fermentation and I actually forgot to get any footage at that event but it was very low key and I only brought my postcard stand because space was a little limited. And my sixth and final event pop up, whatever you wanna call it for this year, I'm actually preparing for right now. It's gonna be a pop up at the Google Center in Mountain View and then also a storefront in Japantown. So I've been busy getting all of my last paintings ready, counting inventory, filling out forms and stuff like that. So I still need to drop that off and then it'll be on display. And that was my recap of the 2023 holiday season. Like I said earlier, it was my busiest, but also my best holiday season so far. 
So I'm really thankful for all this support and that so many paintings found some new homes. I'm really looking forward to 2024 and have set some goals and some projects in mind that I have for it. Um, so I wanna get into wholesale and reaching out to like small brick and mortar stores to have my products in. I also want to expand the products that my art goes onto. So maybe looking at greeting cards or other things like that. Uh, and then also maybe slipping in a mural somewhere in there if I can find someone with a wall who wants me to paint on it. But yeah, I'll see you next year. Bye.